No, and that's part of the problem, Steve. You may have seen several ads running right now that urge viewers to call Washington and voice their support for the Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument. The commercials all mention conservationist Lucas St. Clair, who is running for the Democratic nomination in Maine's 2nd Congressional District. Design Lab is a graphic design and marketing firm in Millinocket. We love the idea of restoring this old building and locating our new design firm here. Lucas St. Clair did the same thing with Katahdin National Monument, turning northern Maine into a new economic hub. The ads come from a recently formed nonprofit called the Maine Outdoor Alliance. The spots are what are called issue ads. Issue ads do not have to follow the same disclosure rules that candidate campaign ads do. The issue these ads are pushing is support for Maine's newest national monument. But then Lucas St. Clair actually listened. He did an excellent job of explaining it, and he got it done. People who elected Conservationist Lucas St. Clair was the driving force behind the Obama administration bestowing the National Monument designation on more than 87,000 acres of northern Maine land his philanthropist mother donated. My name is Jared Golden. Jared Golden, one of St. Clair's opponents in next month's Democratic primary, says it's clear that the group behind these ads is bending the rules of campaigning to support St. Clair's congressional candidacy. Golden says... The Maine Outdoor Alliance was clearly created to buy influence in this primary and to do so without any accountability. Nathan DeYesso, the man who incorporated the Maine Outdoor Alliance, was the best man at St. Clair's wedding. St. Clair campaign spokesman David Farmer tells us, We don't know anything more than what's been reported, and we don't know who is funding the organization. I've publicly asked the group to take down the ads and to disclose its funders. The St. Clair campaign says even picking up the phone and calling DSO could be considered coordination between the campaign and the nonprofit, and that is something that is illegal. No responses today from DSO himself or the Maine Outdoor Alliance. Now, coming up at 6, a closer look at a campaign ad from Attorney General Janet Mills that many viewers may find disingenuous. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.